is saying that there is no, no God there. And I pity the fool. Do you hear me? Uh-huh. Don't get in no argument with them. Just drop the dime. All you got to say is, I pity the fool. Huh? That's all you got to say. Don't fight. Don't get in no argument or nothing. Just say, I pity the fool and keep right on holding. Because, see, let me tell you what happens. The word will locate you just where you at. So when you drop the word to say, I pity the fool, I need you to understand the word pity him. The word pity can be translated as, I have a remorse for you. And remorse comes out, uh, intercession is birthed out of remorse. Uh, anything that you have remorse for, you are afraid for. Uh, so basically what you're saying to them is, uh, is I'm praying for you because you're a fool. Uh, huh? I'm praying for you because you're acting as a Fool, Lord, have somebody stop me, please. I'm praying for you because you're behaving like a fool. I'm praying for you because your mouth is running like a fool. And so all you got to say is, I pity the fool. And when they say, you know what, I heard this about a uh, Pastor Lee. What is Pastor Lee doing this and a uh, Pastor Lee doing that? And you know it's a lie. All you got to say is, I pity the Fool and keep Don't getting it, okay? Me. Don't worry oh, about God. it. When they say I heard this about Trim and I heard that about Trim, and just say I pity the fool and keep right on going because what you're saying is is I'm in a scene for you because the booger man got you in a bad place. Uh, ooh, he done got ooh, I didn't know you did that mess up. Uh, he got you in a ooh, my lord. Uh, when you have to hit him with I pity the fool, that means they in a bad place. You ooh, y'all don't hear me. Yeah. Do y'all hear what I'm saying to you? When you got to say, I pity the fool, that means they in a bad place. They done dropped into a low place. In a low decree, Lord have mercy. That means they blind now, Jesus Christ. That means they blind, y'all. When you got to say, I pity the fool, Lord have mercy. See, when you drop, I pity the fool on them, what is literally being said is, is there's even no reason for me to try to communicate to even explain it to you. Huh? Because, see, the Bible says the fool has said it is heart that there is no God. And so what that's saying is, is there ain't no need of me trying to talk to you. Ain't no need of me trying to communicate with you because you got a made up mind. And now you done stepped into a foolish realm. And so now all I can say is I pity the fool. Point blank. Drop it on. Drop it. They go feel it when you say it. I pity the fool and leave it alone. I pity the fool. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I pity the fool. I'm telling you. I'm not going to wrestle it. I refuse to. The Lord showed me something. Huh? The Lord showed me something. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. That's all you don't get out of me. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. I'm playing for you. And you're playing a fool. I pity the 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 fool. I know what I sense. Huh? I know what I see. I know what I sense. I'm not ignorant. At all. See, we in Sunday, but I'm all the way up to heaven. See, I know what I see and what I sense. Because <laughs> I know what the tricks and the tactics of the enemy is. The enemy, you know, Apostle kept saying something. 
to me for months. She was, you know, in our times of of, of, um, of like the personal impartations and development. She kept saying to me, Lee, the devil, anytime you have strong influence somewhere, the enemy is going to attack your character. That's what he comes after. He would love to attack and assassinate your character, see. So that would be the thing that he would rise up against. And so you start noticing, and as things happen, you know, stuff starts going on, you start noticing that things will start coming to come against your character. You know what I'm saying? To talk against your character and all. And so I was like, yeah, okay. And so the Lord began to show me that as some things intensified here over the next two months, intensity is going to take place. Some things are going to transpire. God help me, please. Listen to me, y'all. God help me, please. This is what I want y'all to do. I just want you to handle it in the form of I pity the fool because I'm going through it first for it. I'm leading the pack through it. Believe me, I'm not afraid to deal with nothing that has to come about. I promise you. Don't get into no defense on nothing. I don't know why I'm having to tell y'all this. But I'm just obeying God. Don't get into no defense about nothing. I'll deal with whatever needs to be dealt with because I ain't scared. Not at all. Spiritual, nor physical. To deal with whatever needs to be dealt with. See it from the eyes of our pity the fool so that you can be intercessors. Lock in closer. Pray more concerning the house. Yeah. Huh? Don't be surprised by nothing that this enemy does. Don't be surprised who he uses. I'm serious, y'all. Don't be surprised. You will hear me say that there are some circumstances going on now that I want to, you know what I'm saying? I would say, Lord Jesus Christ, I wouldn't have thought. But you're not going to hear me say that I'm shocked. Like, I'm surprised. Because when you understand the elements of how something truly grows, you see just what has to happen. See, the Bible says this here. I'm a Bible girl. I'm a Bible girl. And the Bible says this here. It says a man's enemies are those of his own household. Ain't that what it says? Yeah. So who is the enemy going to use? Somebody inside the house. So when you see somebody flip out inside the house, don't get the trick. Don't go to talking about them and putting them down and running their name down. Don't do none of that because it's just part of the story. It's just part of the plan. You understand? Internal affair. Preached it about six months then. Kept going out of him about internal affairs. Lord have mercy. I told y'all. I said, listen. My favorite movie is The Negotiator by Samuel L. Jackson. Always have been, always will be my favorite movie. Because he worked in internal affairs, so to speak, department. And his own people in that department turned on him <coughs> to sabotage him to set him up. But all of that birthed out his leadership potential like never before. If you handle it appropriately, that's what it's supposed to do. It's only supposed to birth you to another level. I wish y'all could hear me. Y'all can sit down. I wish y'all could hear me. It's only supposed to birth you to Another level. This is winning in life, part three. Just so y'all know. <laughs> Show y'all how to win in life. Amen. That's what it's supposed to do if you handle it effectively. See? Now, when 
They did what they did. His own people, man, they staged a plot that was one that had an agenda, but recruited some others. Can I, can I, can I, can I yeah. You hear what I just said? Mm-hmm. There was one with an agenda, but recruited. Please don't be part of the recruiting team. Did you hear what I just said? Huh? Please don't let them recruit you. <laughs> Please don't let them recruit you. Okay. So they set up a device because they knew the dude was smart, right? They knew the dude had the potential to rise. See him? See, that's the reason why they'll be after you. I need to help y'all out. Trim, I love y'all, man. You get some stuff, a lot of folks don't get. But I'm trying to teach y'all how to walk through this stuff, man. The folks be looking, trying to figure out how she moves through it. I ain't studying that jump. Look, okay. So they see what's on you. So if you're writing down, write this right here. They see what's on me. Write that down. They see what's on me. They see what's on me. Say, <laughs> and see, <laughs> you've gotten so used to just looking at you when you look in the mirror. You've gotten so used to just looking at you and even the things about you that you don't like. You might look at you and say, I can't be, you know, like I got dark spots right here and right here that I don't like, right? So when you look at you, you say, man, I can't stand these dark spots. So your view of you is a whole different view from what they see. See? Because what they see is who you were created to be. Uh, okay? What they see is who you were created to be. I'm still talking about the negotiate, winning in life part three. Okay, so they saw the potential of who he was. He didn't realize his ability until he got in distress. <laughs> He didn't realize his own strength in the words of Whitney Houston. I didn't know my own strength is what she said. <laughs> she said, I crashed out and I tumbled, but I did not stumble. I got through all the pain, but I didn't know my own strength. So, <laughs> so when it came to a point of literally about to destroy his life, I need y'all to hear me today. When it got down to a point that it was about to destroy his life, that's when who he was started kicking in. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I'm saying? It was about to affect him and throw him off into prison where he would be taken from that wife he so loved. You know? Mm -hmm. Be framed for some things that he did not do. And let's talk about being framed for some stuff that you did not do. Huh? That's a character assassination. Mm -hmm. It's when they try to frame you for some stuff you did not do. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that thing got something to do with all that that's going on. I see you trying to frame me for something I did not do. <laughs> In the words of Paul, Long, what is it, Paul Hunt, Long Hunt? How you say it? Long, long, long. I said, I said, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to pray me for something that I did not do, right? So they attempted to try to frame him for something he did not do. Now you got two different things that can happen to you when you start going through this type of stuff. Either the warrior is going to step up. Or the wimp gonna lay down. 
I did. I did. Oh, I felt that. Y'all got that one. I felt that one. That one. Yeah. Huh? So seven.